Ho, ho, ho! Just in time for the holidays, Raspberry Pi has released two new devices that you can buy me for Christmas. It's the Raspberry Pi 500 and the Raspberry Pi Monitor. What are these things? The Raspberry Pi 500 is a computer in a keyboard. It is like a VIC-20, a Commodore 64, an Amiga for those of you from the early 80s. It is old style, a computer and a keyboard, you plug it into a monitor and you are off and running. Inside it are the guts of a Raspberry Pi 5. Eight gigabytes of RAM, 2.4 gigahertz processor with four cores, passive heatsink, no fan, just a big old chunk of metal. It does a good enough job that it actually goes faster if you buy a standalone Raspberry Pi 5. That would be slower than what's in the keyboard because it has better heat sinks. It's able to run faster. The monitor, it's kind of low spec. It's 15.6 inch. It's 1080p powered by USB with 1.2 watt speakers with a kickstand. There's no touch screen. Kind of just another portable monitor. None of this stuff is that expensive. The Raspberry Pi computer by itself is 90 bucks. If you get it with the power supply and all the cables it needs and a mouse, that brings it to 120 bucks. The monitor by itself is 100 bucks. So for 220 bucks, you can get a complete Linux desktop computer from Raspberry Pi. So what's different from it from the 400? Well, the 400 was a computer and a keyboard with the guts of a Raspberry Pi 4. Raspberry Pi is saying, you know, this new one is 30% faster. I think it's much faster than that in my experience. The data buses are faster. You have full USB 3 speeds. You have the gigabit on its own connection. The connection to the Wi-Fi even is faster. Just everything on this board is faster connections. Plus, there's encryption hardware in the CPU. So anything with TLS and SSL and encryption, VPNs, they're all much, much faster. I'm seeing speeds about double for me. It's really, really nice. It's also built slightly better, a little more rugged, a little feels better. The keys, they put four rubber pads underneath it instead of just two, so it doesn't move as much. You know, little things, but they add up. What I don't like is that it's not red anymore. It used to be bright red on the bottom. Now it's just gray. Like everything else, it's gray. I miss the red. Was it ugly? Certainly. But you looked at it and you said, man, that's a Raspberry Pi. And I want it. It looks like fun. So what's the point? Why did they do this? The vision of Raspberry Pi right from the beginning is that they were an organization that was going to get low cost computers for students. And this is fulfilling the vision. They now have the complete computer, keyboard, mouse, CPU, monitor, power supply, everything you need. They remember at the very beginning, there was a request for proposals from Argentina. They were looking for a complete computer for students that could run off a USB battery pack. Why? Because power is unreliable in certain places. And they wanted the students to be able to keep learning even if power failed. So the government, the schools could make sure that the battery packs were charged at night. When the students come in, they could put in the battery pack. If there was a blackout, they could keep on learning. This fulfills it. A single battery pack powers the Raspberry Pi 500, powers the monitor. They have the complete computer. It's a funny one though. I mean, Google portable monitor. There are lots of portable monitors out there with the same specs for lower cost. So is this just a novelty item? No, I think it's a great little computer. It gets you Linux, the whole thing. You know, if you want to run Home Assistant to control the lights and stuff in your house, like I do, you have this great little computer that just controls everything. And I'm a fan. Do I want the Raspberry Pi 500? Yes, you can get it for me. I would use it as a dedicated computer running Home Assistant to control all the lights in my house. Separated by itself, it would be perfectly stable, controlling everything, ready whenever I want it. Want to hear more tech discussions like this? Subscribe for more.